And so here we are, back at the Imperial Highway. Uh, and we are in the middle of Ferelden fleeing the blight. The Banon. We are going somewhere. <laughs> I haven't decided yet where. Uh, but, well, we will probably end up in a camp. Because camp is a major hub area where you can contact your party members and where you can where you can speak to them it's basically a place where you can rest resupply uh, think uh, and decide what to do next so camp it is oh <laughs> gather your party and venture forth Actually, yes, and those of you who know, probably this is a reference to uh, Baldur's Gate series where the main n narrative voice of the game was uh, before you leave an area, allow sa says that, and if your party is scattered, he says, gather your party before venturing forth. So, yes. Uh, I like this area. Camp is very nice it's yeah like you really f you free really feel the atmosphere that you're in the middle of a road uh, even the fact that the camp is always the same uh, outline but before that we have a nightmare That's good. That's the Archdemon, of course. We already, we were already able to see it. And here we are in the camp. Bad dreams, huh? <laughs> Why do you bother me? I'm fine. Mm, yep. It's just that you were shouting in your sleep, loud. And not in a good, this is private way either. <laughs> you see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. Right. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. That is why Duncan knew that it is a blight. Uh, that's uh, number two. Why didn't Duncan just tell any, uh, everyone that uh, uh, oh, Tolinia is not as stupid as I as I believe? <laughs> Some people can. Uh, well, it's quite obvious that we can't tell everyone that we are drinking the blood of those creatures, and thanks to that, we are able to do uh, to hear them. We are able to sense them. No, no, no. Uh, Let's say three. Are these dreams going to happen a lot? It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Mm, thank you, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I don't want to be his buddy. Uh, or not his romance interest, anyway. Any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Great. Oh, <laughs> minus five. Uh, of course, here you have everyone. Uh, everyone's uh, equipment. Uh, thanks to that we can now see, let's see, for example, Liliana, you can take another dagger and you can take the longs, oh, and differently, let's go like this, because she's a rogue, she's two f two hand fighter, by the way, no, she has no, I, I can't give her any things more, anything more useful. Uh, short bow, long bow for you because she also can use bows. Uh, yeah, split mail gloves, leather armor for you, leather boots, 
chocolate mail gloves. Unfortunately, these are not exactly the gloves to. The, uh, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, what do you have? You have your plus one cunning plus ten mental resistance. That's better. Chainmail boots. One twenty. Even these are better. Than the ones that she has are better. Yeah, party camp. Uh, Health potion, lesser health potion. Mm, come on, lesser health potion, health potion. By the way, I will change the outline here. Poisons here, stealing here. Injury kit. Uh, she has poison making. That means she can use bombs and all that stuff. And she can probably also use these. Um, by the way, anything more? No, I believe that's all we can do with her. When it comes to equipment, whoa! She had three experts stealing. I didn't remember that. Anyway, bard songs, distraction. These are very good. Mm -hmm. And she is much more of a. Uh, none of these are really that great. Uh, Arrow slaying is great. The, the, the two last ones <laughs> are, m m are are great. Uh, others not so much. Depends uh, on how you play. Uh, okay, I believe that's okay. What do we have here? Let's try speaking with Liliana. Or no, wait. Viter. What can you tell me? Oh, why you little? <laughs> uh, where is the option? Good dog. Oh, are you harassing my dog? Me harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Yeah, good boy. Teach the silly Alistair a lesson. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Yeah, it will. <laughs> um, mostly, uh, the dog is not really anything that you can find about him. Let's speak with Alistair. What can you tell me? I know, I know I'm a little harsh on him. <laughs> What do you need? Uh, I'd like to ask you something. Ask away. <laughs> you no. Uh, so how did you become a grey warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Uh. Haha! <laughs> -ha, very funny. Uh. Before that. Let's see, I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. Great. Uh, what skills might those be? <laughs> well, it wasn't an easy life, you know. I don't know whether or not you've noticed, but I'm not exactly the Chantry type. No, you're the not. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Really? Well, uh, that's one thing in common. We are we are both conscripted. <laughs> uh, why did the Grand Clay wanted to keep you? I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens. Is all. The Chantry mm -hmm. didn't lose much, and I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful Possible. to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... Oh, I yeah. wouldn't have. Now it's going to be... Uh, don't start crying. No. Uh, don't start crying again, please. Yes, you're right. I should be angry for what happened to him, not sad. I shouldn't forget what Loghain did. Yeah, that's Come the on, spirit. let's go. I think I'm done talking. And minus three. <laughs> Uh, so what is my approval with him now? Minus 20. Great. Okay. Uh, I'm not really the type of person... Well, I, I had him... I, I usually had... I, when I played before, 
Uh, usually my approval with him was around 50 and plus 50 plus 70, so really no problem. And of course, uh, he's nice, but I want to play. I want to see what are his reactions when you have a low uh, approval with him. Liliana, what can you tell me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think you should go. <laughs> no, no. I, I like to talk. Well, here I am. She's always in. Uh, she's just fine. Uh, no, no. This one we'll leave for later because there is a fine <laughs> dialogue line with this one. Those visions of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. <sighs> I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm right. swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Well, now, what we have here... A lovely looking, looking uh, young lady with and she hears voices and has dark dreams plus she's a rogue she can steal from you and she can backstab you now that's not exactly my type of woman nah i don't know uh i like her very much because she's really nice uh let's say you dream of the blight i suppose i did that was what the darkness was no when i woke I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do, but that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Mm -hmm. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw, but there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this right. darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. <sighs> Actually, I, I, I believe Tellinia is not a person because she's an elf and she, she's not really a person who believes in the Maker. Uh, I don't need your Maker's interference in my. No, that will probably make uh, not like us that much. Uh, did you hear voices? <laughs> no, uh, by the way, I'm not quite sure. Are her eyes blue? Are I think Liliana's eyes are blue, or it's something like a very uh, bright blue color. Well, anyway, uh, let's go back to the dialogue. Uh, mm, did you hear voices? No, not voices. It's not so simple. He spoke directly to my soul, in a language no human tongue can express. There are Great. so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Black devours everything? Uh, I suppose I couldn't sit by either. Well, actually that's what we are doing. We will fight the Blight, so... Oh, um, let's try two. But no, two... Uh, I don't want to have... Uh, sh you know, it's, it's easier with Alistair to make him... Uh, make him dislike me. <laughs> I suppose I couldn't sit by either. That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. And... Plus two, yeah. Uh, she's just a type of character. I don't feel sorry with uh, losing uh, with Alistair my, ex my, my uh, approval. But I will put her. Uh, I just feel it, you know, it's somewhere in deep inside you. Levy, uh, that's a DLC, so let's move it later. Ah, oh. it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service, once again. Great. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Hmm. Well, actually, even if we uh, throw them out... Uh, I doubt that they will disappear. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you're free to stay. You just mind yourself. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. <laughs> we won't be a bother to you and your companions, mm. I assure you. 
If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Great. Uh, by the way, enchantments. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Great. Uh, enchantments. Enchantments! Enchantments! Uh, enchantments, uh, you can forge lyrium into weapons, which means you can, for example, add to electricity damage to this. Uh, I am not able to use this one. Not yet, I think. Or any of these. So, for now... Am I right? I'm not able to use them, yeah. So, Oathkeeper will be the first weapon I can use now. Uh... Fenric. If there's anything I can do for you, uh, please, please, tell me. Any rumors? I hear that Tyr Logain, the regent, is calling for new levies of troops. He wants to rebuild the army we lost at Astagar. Thing is, there's not a lot of spare men to be found. Out of Dragon's Peak, there's press gangs roaming around, grabbing any free man they can lay their hands on. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Great. Uh, let me see. I'm sure ass. you'll be pleased with the goods my boy yeah, and I have yeah, collected. Okay. Ah. Discount, whatever. Uh, let's buy health potions. Because these are really something you need. Uh, by the way, he is an infinite amount for, for concentrator, cor concentrator, corruptor, and distillation e extracts, as well for traps and flashes. Uh, and you need these for uh, bombs and every kind of these kind of things. Uh, he also, yeah, let's just go like this. Uh, none of this, uh, or rather, I can sell this, this short bow, this. Mm, not sure about these. Uh, crystal dragon. Uh, no, let's for now. Let's keep the. DLC things, chainmail boots, scale armor. We can sell all of these. Chandler's Morrigan robes. This as well. Uh, here, no, no. It's these are gifts. I will need them. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, this is still not his best shop. Uh, backpack. Uh, that is always something you need. DLC stuff, sugar cakes, canary prayers for the dead, <laughs> dead, mm, grandmaster runes, Illyrian potions, you can also buy these, uh, on f yeah, spell ward, and these are something really powerful, additions, not everything I can buy, it's not everything I can buy here, uh, 38 strength, Blood dragon. <laughs> uh, there are things I want to buy that he will have because for now this is still not uh, the main uh, camp. This is a camp, and uh, more or less this camp will uh, the camp will always look like this. But uh, it seems that in the game there are at least three camps. This one. Uh, a major one and then later on a one that uh, is attacked and uh, in the second one the camp that you can choose from the map uh, you will have uh, some other things and Paul and Fenric will have additional goods for me especially goods that come from uh, DLCs now we'll speak with Morrigan what can you tell me what do you wish of me Ah, uh, what I wish. Uh, something personal, you're a bitch. No, but let's say something personal. We're in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Uh, oh, and <laughs> I think I disabled this. Uh, there is a mod that um, is quite literally what is in the title of the mod. It says, Slap Morrigan. And she can you can slap her and then she it's possible that she will sl slap you re in return <laughs> and it has no uh basically it has no uh influence on the game <laughs> never mind uh, what do you wish of let's me let's try 
again something. If you must. Uh, shapeshifter Kari Wilds. Uh, how did it became a shapeshifter? Shape I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like something you'd do. Your mother had been doing this for a longer time, eh? for a long time then. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Uh, yeah. Can you change into other human forms as well? But basically she will answer that she's not able to do it. The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. Sorry. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Damn it. I was hoping to change you into, I don't know, Terran Login and dictate that we will rule or into Anora or to Queen King King Kaelan or to our Eamon. But no, of course. No. Form of a human is just a form of a human. Can anyone become a shape changer? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Yep, so... If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. Damn it. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me. It is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf. Great. Listened as a cat. Proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. Cool. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. Uh... No. The one, the first one, is not what I was hoping for. Uh, I never heard of a magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded lore from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all <laughs> such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Uh, I believe that is kind of a reference or at least inspired by heresy in the Catholic Church. It basically means that uh, there is only one interpretation of something and we will fight and uh, label that everything else is heresy so uh, yeah <laughs> that comes here with the magic uh, no chantry doesn't seek to protect us uh, that's good such traditions need to be preserved I am surprised you think so still it is a pleasant thing to hear that's all I wanted to ask indeed have you an opinion on my abilities, then? <laughs> Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Uh, no. Uh, I think your abilities sound quite useful. Yep. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such of talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Dust gather on us. Great. Whoa, plus six. Great. I was hoping for this. Odin, Alistair, Liliana. Well, I'll speak. I speak. I spoken. Spoken? Yeah, I believe that's the correct line. With most of the people here. So, let's try going somewhere. No, no, no. Uh, somewhere. Where to go? Uh, 
Yes. Mm, or we can Indeed. Fight her. No, let's take Liliana. Indeed. Uh, and yeah, there is a lot of places where we can go, and we are in Lothering. We can go to Redcliffe, we can go to Southern Pass, we can go to Lake Callanhead, we can go to Ban Loren Lands, to Brazilian outskirts, to Denerim, or even to Ostagar. Ah, damn it, this is difficult. Uh, I believe we will keep to the south now. Which means we'll go to Redcliffe Village. Uh, and in Redcliffe Village, we will do as many quests as we can. And later on, I will do one thing that I, I was not able to do till now. Because uh, since this LP is... Uh, I'm trying to make an evil LP, we will not help the village. At least I want not to help. That means that uh, when we leave Redcliffe Village, we will go somewhere else to do something, other some other things, and then go back to the Redcliffe Village. And that will be nice, because I know what happens there, but I never saw it. Uh, I always tried to help the village, because uh, that means more experience and some quests, I believe. If you don't help the village, some quests are never uh, will never appear. And you will never able to do it, to do them. So Redcliffe Village, and we go. No point in waiting. Oh, so fast. No ambush on the road. Happens. Loading, loading, loading. Oh, loading screens. And even the map is a loading screen. Damn it. Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. Ah, uh, yes. I almost forgot about this. Uh, Alistair will tell us something. And this will be a big revolution. A change. Let me guess, you're an idiot. <laughs> no, no. Uh, can it wait? No. I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon, exactly? Uh... <laughs> Uh, he raised you. Uh, are you his? Are you his son? And that is quite uh, more. Uh, that is uh, number second is quite close to the fact. But no, I hope this isn't something sordid. Uh, no. Why would you think <laughs> that? Wait. Don't answer that. Just let me finish. I'm okay. a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father <sighs> was King Marek, yep. which made Kaelin my half-brother, I suppose. Alistair, you're a prince and you're a bastard. And you tell me that now. You might have told me before. So you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. <laughs> Number two is great. Doesn't that make you the heir to the throne? Why did you want to tell me this? No. Uh, so you're not just a bastard, but a royal bastard. Yes, that's 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 the one. Ha! Yes, I guess it does it. That I should use that line more often. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. Interesting. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Great. Does Loghain know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly uh -huh. never considered the idea that yeah. it might ever be important. 
Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlais, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Alessa. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as mm -hmm. the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. Great. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made mm -hmm. sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Uh, bunch of whining. That sounds like a bunch of whining. Well, considering the fact that, uh, well, he had his childhood was not as great as, for example, Talinia's childhood. Even considering that she, uh, she had at least she had a family. Uh, uh, number two is too soft. Uh, number one is just a question that sounds like a bunch of whining. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Arl's son, though. If you're picturing that, I slept in hay out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's oh, holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Great. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. Great. But you are the heir to the throne, right? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, right. if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just yep. pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Great Wardens. Ah, uh, aren't you? As you command, my prince. That's not really what you think, is it? And the number four, and what does that make me? <laughs> The, yeah, number four. What does that make me? Some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Welcome to the club. Uh, I was quite shocked uh, when he told me that. But most importantly, uh, from the beginning I knew that uh, he will end, sooner or later he will end up on the throne, of course. Uh... Well, that's your decision to make, to be honest, at the land meet. What do we have here? There's a death route here. Well, you know... Uh, As you desire. I'll probably end the recording for now. For like a few minutes. Uh, so we'll cut this place. This will be a part of the video. So, uh, see ya. Bye, and I will record the. I will record Redcliffe later on. But this, there is a lot of fun things to do here as well. Bye.